starring June Lockhart, Hugh Riley, John Provost as Timmy, and of course, Lassie. Right here's the building where they do research in veterinary medicine. Come on, Timmy. Anybody home? Oh, Hank. Oh, Martin, you old son of a gun. Timmy. Hi. I'll be darned, you've almost grown as much as that pup of yours. Don't tell me your daddy's already entering you in college. Timmy and Lassie both. It's not as far off as you think, young man. Hank, I've got to go to a meeting over at the Student Farm Employment Board. Will you look after these two while I'm gone? Why, sure, I'd be glad to. If they get in your way, why, just send them out to the truck, huh? It'll only take an hour or so, Timmy. I'll see you later, Hank. Bye. Timmy, you and Lassie just make yourselves at home. I have one more inoculation to do. Sure is pretty. Is he sick? Of course not. Why? Then why are you getting up, Tia Lady? Well, we're trying to lick a new virus that's been killing sheep in the western part of the state. Do you want to hold it a minute? Sure. I'm going to try a new antibiotic, which might work. Suppose it doesn't. What'll happen to this white rat? But it'll probably die, and we'll keep on searching. But what happens if so many die? Won't you run out of white rats? No danger of that. Why not? Well, did you know that white rats average eight or nine to a litter every few weeks? Eight or nine at a time? That's Ooh. average. I once saw a litter of 21. Gosh. Where do you raise them? Oh, we can't be bothered raising them. We buy them from outside breeders. Do they cost very much? About a quarter apiece. A quarter? Do you suppose I can raise some? Well, I don't know. Do you suppose, huh? Well, I don't see why not. Just be sure you don't put one in someone's bed, like somebody did in mine when I was in college. I bet that was pretty funny. Did you find out who did it? Yeah, your father. I'll get you a nice, healthy pair. Put that one on the tray. Yeah. Yeah. Now that one should be having a litter most any day now. What'll I feed them? Just anything, leftovers, scraps from the table. Any special way to feed them? Just put the food in front of them. In fact, you could condition them to come asking for their food. Condition them? Mm-hmm. Each time you feed them, whistle first. In a few days, they'll come running when you whistle and be waiting for their food. We call this conditioning. Do you really think Blassie and I could do it? I don't see why not. I'll get you something to take them home. Aren't they cute, Blassie? Hey, keep them in here. You're welcome, Timmy. Two dollars and twenty-five cents. And there's nine of them in a litter. And a litter every few weeks. And I'll see if those nine rats have nine little rats. That's eighty-one. And if those eighty-one rats have nine little rats each, that's... I can't figure that much, Lassie. Hey. You know that husker that Dad wants to put on his harvester? I bet we could get it for Mom and Dad's anniversary. He says it costs fifty dollars, so all we need is nine rats. Two hundred rats. 
And we could get that many with hardly even trying. But it's got to be a big secret, okay? And we can't tell anybody. Because we want to make it a big surprise for Mom and Dad. Uh-oh, here comes Dad. Are you sure you've had enough? Mmm, plenty. I know a cold lunch isn't very filling. No, it's fine. And from the amount that Timmy put on his plate, I don't think he'll go hungry either. <laughs> you want to help me do some planning? Sure, Dad. I have something else to do first. But I'll catch up with you. All right. I'm going to have to work late if I'm going to get that corn planted this week. I'll see you around 6, huh? All right, dear. selling corn. I don't like that smell in the barn. What smell? Rats. R rats I'm going to give that barn a going over in the morning and set some traps. Well, a few little old rats couldn't hurt anything, could they? A few little old rats, if left unchecked, could wipe out our little old farm. Well, maybe wild rats, but we don't have any wild rats around here. All rats are wild to me.
You'll never find him in here. Come on, girl. Night, kids. Just look at my flowers. They're all chewed up. Oh, it was the best garden I ever had. Ruth. Oh, Paul, look at my flowers. They are ruined. Your flowers? Well, you should see the corn. Rats, hundreds of white rats. They're eating it up. I tell you, Ruth, they're all over the cornfield. <laughs> Yes, yes, hundreds of them. They're eating all the green ears. They'll wipe out that corn just the way they've done to your garden. You think rats did this? Well, of course. What else could it be? On the other farms, too? I'll phone around and ask. Meanwhile, we're losing our crop just standing here. Well, what are you going to do? Rat poison. I've got some in the barn, and I'll have to get some more in town. Let's just hope it works fast enough. Dad, please don't poison the rats. Please don't. Well, that's a silly thing to say. Unless those rats are wiped out at once, we'll lose our farm, everything we own. No, Dad. Well, maybe I exaggerated, Timmy. Don't worry about the farm. We'll manage to save it somehow. What is it, Timmy? What's the matter? The white rats. They're mine. I was raising them. You were raising rats on a farm? What in the world were you thinking of? Well, I was going to sell them to buy you and Dad a corn husker for your anniversary. Well, that's just fine, Timmy. Only now there won't be any corn left to husk. Gosh, Dad, I didn't want them to hurt the corn. I just didn't want you and Mom to work so hard. Oh, Timmy, we never minded husking the corn. Timmy, I just don't understand. Where could you hide so many? Where did you get them? Well, I kept them in the old shed by the cornfield. Dr. Sims, he was going to give me a quarter for each rat. Hank. There was only two of them at first. He gave them to me when we were at the college. Well, Hank got us into this. Let's see if he can find a way out. Come on. Hello? Oh, hello, Timmy. I have about 200 rats for you. 200 of them? What have you been feeding them? Vitamins? No. Just anything and everything. Would you come right over? I can't buy $50 worth of rats. I don't care if you buy them or not. I'll give them to the college. Give them to us? Uh, are you sure you want to do that? Oh, please, just come over and get them now. Well, that's wonderful, Timmy. I'll be right over. Hi, folks. Hello, Hank. Folks, I can't tell you how grateful the college is for Timmy's contribution. You should be mighty proud of this son of yours. Well, let's get on with it. Where are the rats? Out there. Where? Eating the corn. All you gotta do is round them up. What is this, a gag? Hank, there are over 200 rats in that field, and if you don't get them out of there fast, there'll be nothing but bare stalks. What are we gonna do? Well, let's put our heads together for one thing. What about poison? Have you got any at the college that's effective? Oh, that's not in my line. I'll have to ask around. Maybe we can think of something else. What's the matter, girl? Do you 
suppose the college would let us use its dusting plane to spread the poison? That's an idea. It would be the quickest way to. Look. Look! By George, he remembered. Mass conditioning, that's what it is. What are we waiting for? Let's round them up. Come on. I've got cages in the truck. Here, Paul. Here, Timmy, catch. I hear Mom catch. Here, Timmy, for you. I'm sorry to cause you all this trouble. All right, Hank. Just keep your rats in the laboratory, huh? <laughs> Hi. Hi. Well, like a little soap and water won't do me any harm. I wish I knew if there were any rats left in that corn. I'm sure Lassie got them all out. Didn't you, girl? And you know I gave him all that were in the shed, so now there's nothing to worry about. Gee. Now I don't know what to give you for your anniversary. Come here a minute, Timmy. To me, I know how you feel about the anniversary, I mean. You see, I was going to surprise your mother with a Husker attachment for the harvester, too. You were? What happened? Well, you see, I was assembling it, and then I, uh, well, I, I ran out of cash. You mean you don't have enough money to buy all the parts? Yeah, yeah, I, I still lack about, uh, two husking plugs. I bet they cost an awful lot. Oh, no. Oh, not much, about, uh, about 7.28, but I, uh, I can't seem to spare the cash right now. I saved up 11.25. I could buy the plugs, and then the husker could come from both of us. Timmy, that's a great idea. Listen, with those plugs, I can have it assembled in time for the harvest and the anniversary. Timmy, that's it. It'll be from both of us. Thanks, Dad. Thanks a million. Uh, remember, not a word of this to your mother. Huh? I know, I know. Did you hear that, girl? We get to give the husker after all. Come on, girl. Oh, Dad! Damage all by himself. 